All right, so let's talk about centroids of composite bodies, objects that are just simpler shapes combined together, right? Shapes that are just glued, glued, glued together, so that's one object. So like, like this one, if you can kind of break it up and say, oh, well, this is really just like a, uh, a triangle plus a rectangle, right? Plus a, here we go, half circle, right? Plus a half circle. All right, so uh, how can we handle these? We, we've done functions, and, and for functions, the x bar is integral x tilde dA over integral dA. Y bar is integral Y tilde dA over integral dA. Well, now that we have three discrete objects that make up our um, shape, uh, instead of doing an integral, we can just break this up into three objects. Instead of an, an um, infinite number of infinitesimally small, thin dA's, we can just break it up into three objects and take each object's X tilde and sum the x tilde a over summation of a. What does that mean? That means I'm going to take, and let me put a subscript i here, and i is the number of shapes. That means we're going to take the x tilde of the triangle times the area of the triangle plus the x tilde of the uh, rectangle times the area of the rectangle plus the x location of the centroid of the semicircle times the area of the semicircle, all divided by their total areas. Okay, do you see how that formula is, is similar? Instead of integrals, we're summation, the summation of y tilde a over summation of a. Subscript i means we're going to sum up through the number of shapes, so 4x. It's really a weighted average. It's really a weighted average. We're going to take the centroid of shape one. Let me do this in colorful. Right, we're going to take the centroid of shape one times the area of shape one. So, for example, we're going to take its x tilde times its area plus the x tilde 2 times its area. So this one, where is its? We're going to take this x tilde 2, measure it from 0, right? Measure it from 0 times its area plus the green shape, uh, its x tilde 3 times its area. So it's x3, whoop, x3 would be from here there would be its centroid. We can look at our centroid uh, formula sheet uh, to find that. Times its area divided by A1 plus A2 plus A3. It's really a weighted average. This one's centroid times how much area. If it has more area compared to the others, then it's the centroid is going to be closer to that one then close to the other uh, centroids. Okay, uh, and we can do the same thing for the y, right? y bar y tilde a plus the other one's y tilde a plus the other one's y tilde a over all the a's together. All the a's together. Okay, uh, so now we can do one-dimensional, two-dimensional, or three-dimensional, right? We can find the centroid of lines, the centroid of areas, or the centroids of volumes. So I, I generally I, I teach areas, but we can also do lines. The, the centroid would be summation x tilde, the length divided by the total length, right? The y would be the summation of y tilde times its length times y tilde times the next length times y tilde times the next length. Right, divided by the total length, or we can do areas, or we can do volumes, right? Or we can do volumes. X tilde volume, summation of all, each one's x tilde volumes, divided by the volumes. All right. What if we have a composite body that's made up of different materials? If we has, if we have a composite body made up of different materials, the center of mass, right? The center of mass would be x tilde, and this could be mass or weight, um, 
but we would have the summation of x tilde times the weight of that object plus x tilde times the weight of the next object plus x tilde times the weight of the next object divided by the total weight. Um, and sometimes uh, the book might give us gamma, the specific weight. The specific weight is kind of like opposite of density, um, but we're also uh, looking at weight, not mass, but it would be the weight divided by the volume. Let's do a little uh, recalculating, rearranging. The weight is gamma times volume. So I might have each one's gamma times volume. That is for kind of a three-dimensional object that has different materials that have different specific weights gamma, then I would take x tilde times the gamma of one v of one plus the x tilde of the next one, the gamma of the next one times the v of the next one, uh, and so forth, divided by the total gamma v of each of those combined. All right, so here's the main thing. Summation x tilde a over summation of a. And x tilde is just the x location of the centroid of that discrete shape. Only that section of it. Only that, you know, triangle. Only that rectangle that you're looking at times the area of that rectangle that you're looking at. All right, let's get some practice. Let's get some practice.